Seemingly out of sheer determination to have me travel as much as possible to get my hands on the new OnePlus 6, OnePlus has sponsored my trip all the way to London, England. And this launch is actually really special for me because while I've never seen a mass production unit before, I've already been behind the scenes for a look at the very impressive development and manufacturing process. So I am really excited to see just how it's turned out. There's a limit to how much I can tell you guys today, pesky embargoes, right? So I'm gonna work my way through the most burning questions first, starting with the price. OnePlus has been increasing their MSRP generation by generation, citing increased development costs and product complexity. And it looks like the six gigs of RAM, 64 gig ROM model is gonna be about 30 US dollars more expensive than the OnePlus 5T that it replaces. Now the good news is that still $200 less than a Galaxy S9 or $300 less than an S9 Plus and you're getting some pretty nice upgrades starting with the display. So it's 6.28 inches diagonally with a super tall 19 by 9 aspect ratio and like the OnePlus 5 and OnePlus 5T before it, it uses an AMOLED panel for perfect blacks and DCI P3 color space support. It's got rounded corners, and it's got the highly controversial notch in the top, but honestly, I'm not even mad anymore now that I've heard that OnePlus is planning to allow users to disable the notch outright if they don't want an ugly cutout in their ultra-wide videos, like the ridiculous situation on the iPhone X. What's not ridiculous about this phone is how few dongles I'll be carrying. So it still drives me nuts that Razer went out and released a gaming phone that requires a dongle for wired headphones. Not so here. You can charge the 3300 milliamp hour battery and listen to music or play games on the bus to your heart's content. Now, under the hood, we're getting a Snapdragon 845 processor, six or eight gigs of low power DDR4X RAM, and anywhere from 64 gigs to 256 gigs of internal storage in a variety of colors. I think this is actually the most launch SKUs that we have ever seen from OnePlus. And the material is the most exotic that we've seen from them as well. Basically every surface of this phone, front and back, is made of Corning Gorilla Glass 5. And I know what you guys are thinking, but I've actually seen these phones go through shocking, like literally shock testing, shocking durability tests and survive, including up to a two meter fall on one of the prototypes in the lab. So I've got no concerns about the durability of this approach and it makes for a very striking looking and smooth curvy feeling phone. And I really like the way it sits in my hand, especially the matte version, which is still made of glass, but it's got a special surface treatment on it that makes it a little bit less slippery. Another thing that's pretty stunning about it is how much bigger the screen has gotten compared to the OnePlus 5 from just a year ago at nearly the same size for the frame and a similar weight. Another thing OnePlus has added is gesture control if you're into the complete full screen experience. So it's drag up for home, then drag up and hold for multitask. And if you're already in an app, like say for example, a web browser, you just drag up from the bottom to go back. Shoop, shoop. And it works on both the right and left side. Now I can't unfortunately show you any test shots, but I have been enjoying playing around with the camera. OnePlus has doubled down on their F1.7 16 megapixel primary and 20 megapixel secondary shooter approach, but they've thrown a couple of new tricks into the mix here, including a larger primary sensor. So this is intended to help with low light performance. And then they've also got an AI assisted portrait mode that is going to be coming a little bit after launch. So it's hard to say at this time what, if anything, has changed about the selfie camera, but their lightning fast face unlock, which does depend on the selfie camera, is back. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to OnePlus for sponsoring me out here for a first look at the OnePlus 6. Let me know what you guys would like to see followed up on in the full review once I upload that in probably a few days from now. 
this video sucked, you guys know what to do, but if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.